what we have here, we have load older component. And load older component um, is basically this button. But when clicking on this button, we need to, we want to fetch older to do's. And to remind you, the first ones were just 10 first to do's. So let's get back to load older, import JQL from GraphQL tag, and define our uh, fetch all to do's at JQL, and we will paste the query we, we had here. Now we, what we want to implement is method, let's call it fetch older to do's. And it will be a sync method. We'll do several things here. We will get client and is public from props. Let's also import with Apollo from React Apollo and wrap our component with this higher order component. What it will do, it will basically give us access to this client on our props and we'll be able to uh, create our queries and mutations without using, higher, uh, without using render props components. So what we want to do, we want to get our data from the cache, right? So we want to read query from the cache. So we can do this by executing read query on the client itself. Now our query will be fetch this. Now variables will be is public. So far, we got our data for the whole uh, to-dos list. Now what we'll do now, we'll define num of to-dos as data to-dos length. And we'll set our set disabled as true, because when we click on fetch all the to-dos, we don't want this button to be enabled. We also want to set our loading as true. Now next step will be getting a response from our uh, querying all to do's. So we will say uh, like await client.query for executing our query and the query will be fetch all to do's will pass variables. Our variables will be is public and it will be last ID with num to do's. If there are no to do's then the last ID is zero. Otherwise we will get we'll just get the last to do, right? So we'll get the ID of last to do in our data to do array. So in that case, our last ID is always the last one in the list. So whenever we get this response, we want to set our state with the, with the loading as false. We want to enable the, uh, our button again now we also want to check if there is no response data. Then we will just our state set our state disabled as false and uh, basically just return. So whenever we don't have data, nothing will happen. If 
we do have data, we need to update it, right? We need to update our cache. So we need to set a write query on the client. And the query will be fetch to do's with the uh, is public variable. And we need to write the data. Our data will be to do's and inside we'll have an array of uh, to do's and uh, our response. So we also need to check if uh, we in the end of the list and there are no to do's to load. We will check if our length is uh, less than, than 10, then uh, basically we will set our state with a button, different button text. So we'll say no more to do's and we'll disable our button. Now, otherwise we will say uh, that we have more to do to load. And we'll enable our button. And for the this if, I want to check the scenario if uh, there, is, uh, there are no to do's, we'll want to set our state as uh, with button text load more to do's. So let's see what we got here. And right now, if we load more to do's, we'll see no more to do's, we cannot Click on that. So again, to test that, let's change that uh, limit to one, go to our to-dos, change our limit here to one, and let's see that it works. So we have one to-do, load more to-dos, and we have no more. So, so far, everything is working perfectly.